Hey, this is YBR back with Infra, and it has been a long time since I last played this game. So long, in fact, that my save file was no longer compatible with the latest version of the game. So I had to redo this level, and the way I did that was kind of funny. I pulled up my video I recorded for the game previously, and I just watched exactly what I did in that video, and I duplicated it here. So hopefully, everything is identical to how it was previously, or at least really close to being identical. Now, I did a little bit of analyzing at this thing, and I think I know what I need to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the raw water going to the filtration unit, and because I had to just redo everything, I actually know where that is. If I just hopped into the game without having to redo everything, I would be looking all over the place wondering, where in the world was that hand wheel? Because I probably would not have remembered. But right here, I do remember. Heck, I don't even know if I remembered about that stairway. That stairway is kind of a little bit off to the side where I might not look there if I was just trying to remember where this specific wheel was. So raw water to filtration, we close that off. And then let's head back down and see what the little screen looks like. <laughs> I was wondering if that's gonna hurt me. Like, I know you don't have much room to fall here and live, so I gotta be careful about that. That was just being dumb and reckless, thankfully. There's just enough height there to hurt yourself, but not kill yourself. Oh, the screen is in here. I don't know where I'm going. So what do we got on this screen? So it just says, water flow stopped. And I'm thinking the water flow stopped is the water flow going in to the sedimentation because there's no water really going into it no wait there is but there's nothing from the disinfectants going anywhere that's blocked off I think so we need to open up one of those two right in the middle maybe I'm really not sure what I'm doing here I'm gonna be completely honest with you I'm kind of just guessing and I can't remember if I fully looked through this area so we're gonna see if I did is that Nope, that's nothing. Like, nothing to actually look at. It's just a normal little decal on the barrel. So all of these are turned on, and none of those are the one I want. So we'll just go right by these and keep on exploring. Fake door. Real door. That does not operate. Unless I find a key for it or something. Sink with a sponge. Why am I looking at all the little details? These are not helpful. Ooh! Hand wheel. That actually could be helpful. So is this thing uh, openable somehow? We got a green light there, but a red light there. Same over here. Green light there, red light there. If I remember correctly, none of those are real doors. So when we see those, we're just going to basically skip right by them. I'm looking into them just to make sure there's nothing in there, but those ones look like they just kind of go on forever into the darkness, so that makes me think they are fake. And that is all of them. And Ooh! I see a battery pack. Ha! <laughs> Stupid hand wheel, get out the way. Four packs of camera batteries. And I also noticed that there is this little latch right here we could open up. And it's that blood. Apparently blood is not something I need to worry about taking pictures of, you know. It's like somebody could have been smashed by this latch and died. Don't worry about it, it's all good. Look, there's even blood down here. Like unless they got red paint up in here, somebody got hurt. Really badly, because that's a lot of blood. So, flocculation to filtration, and then we also got flocculation to sedimentation. This is not the hand wheels I was thinking of, I think, but we'll just turn them anyways. That should do it. Or we'll turn just that one, because he said that should do it. So I'm like, okay, we're done here. I knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah, uh-huh. No, I didn't. So does that mean we can go through one of those doors over here now? Let's find out. Man, it feels like my guy, he just kind of does a brisk jog. He doesn't actually run. It's just kind of like a jog. I mean, that's realistic. How often do people actually full out run in real life? Especially after they've been doing some nonsense for hours upon hours and they're exhausted. This poor guy is having the worst day ever. Alternative title for this game. Worst day ever for the structural engineer. I think that's what he was titled, right? All right, what about over here? So we got a red light there, which is a little concerning. And that is a fake door. And I see two lights. One green, one red. So that's not opening up. Where else could we possibly go? We can go up here. I don't think it'll get us anywhere, but we can go up here. Yep, that was as pointless as I expected. 
totally pointless. What about this thing? Is this something we could uh, do anything with? Eh, doesn't seem like. Never mind. Don't trust my BR. So you can turn it on. And yeah. Are we going to get anywhere? This is just a dead end, though. Oh. No, it's not. You just got to be riding the cart when you go through it. Haha. -ha. I have conquered this. And I have not taken any pictures this whole time. My mind blinked out on taking pictures. So now let's overcompensate and take way too many pictures. Like, look, somebody was smoking in here. It says no smoking somewhere, maybe. Click. All right, not that crazy. We're going to do a little bit much. And somehow, between the loads, a little cart got turned off. I like that it has a headlight. Just so cute. My little cart got its headlight. And I wonder what happens if you fall off of it. Let's see. Oh, no, it just keeps going. No, Kurt, stop. Stop. Oh, it listened. Wait, was that just like a coincidence? Or does it stop if nobody's on it after a second? Oh, I guess it actually does stop. Thanks, cart. I noticed it goes backwards when you first click on it. So you gotta like triple click that thing so it goes in the right direction. Oh, I see water on the ground. That's not supposed to happen. Apparently, though. Oh, there we go. I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. I should have just taken a cab or a paid vacation. You really should have just done that. Alright, was there anything over here? Good thing uh, you could actually walk in this water. For all I knew, it would have been electrified and I'd just hop right in it and die. That would have been terrible. Looks like just a lot of pipes. And, uh... Is there anything at this dead end? No, well, nothing here. A long hallway, though. No wonder they give you a cart. Although the cart didn't seem that much faster than the running. Although, is my running slowed down if I'm wading through water, maybe? I don't know. I would have to do some testing, and I really don't feel like it. I'd rather just enjoy the game. So, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> hey, look, a little dry spot. At least I think it's dry. Nope. Still is submerged. No, not backwards. Forwards. Hey, what's that? Is that like a broken pipe? Nope, that's just a bucket. I want to take pictures of things, but nothing to take pictures of. There's some things to take pictures of. All right, let's do it while we drive. And that probably hurts you, so we should stay far away from that. Oh, we got more. Do I need a duck? Maybe. Wow, I've got so many pictures. Oh, wait, what's that? Is that just a dead end? Gotta take a quick peek. What's in these? Does it say cold water, hot water? Okay. Pretty simple. So that's just a dead end. Nothing there. Wade through some more water. It's supposed to be an exit, but it's walled off. Shouldn't that be a picture? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I'm going a little crazy here. Take pictures of everything possible. That wall is a little bit beat up. I'm going to take a picture of it. Eventually, they'll be like, why do you have so many pictures of walls that are slightly scratched? It needs to be repainted. You're a structural engineer, not a designer. Oh, yeah. That, on the other hand, that looks like something for me to take a picture of. Yeah. And then I also see a door right here. What we got in here? Anything interesting? And batteries. I have five packs of flashlight batteries now. Flashlight batteries. I can never tell which is which anymore because I don't remember what camera batteries look like compared to flashlight ones. That's not good. Oh, hit my head. Hold on, do I take a picture of that door? That is a real safety hazard. You just smack your head into it and you fall off your little cart thing. You know, it's funny they have this little cart thing and it's reminding me of Half-Life, how they had a little cart. And why am I thinking of Half-Life? Because this is running on the Source engine. Same engine that Half-Life 2 ran on. I know I mention that all the time, it's just because one of my favorite facts about this game is that it has it's running on the Source engine. Just anything to take a picture of? Nope. Just some uh, secret hideout some dude made. Can't open that door. Can we see in here at all? Ooh, you kind of can. It'd be like some guy staring at me right back through there like, Hey, what are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were actually in there. There's going to be a skeleton or something like some guy died in there. It's like, oh no. What am I doing in here? Oh, there's something. I see two little rooms. What's in this one? Don't see anything. Can I interact with any of that? Nope. What's in the other one? I see a locker. And we got in the locker. More batteries. I have five packs of camera batteries now. Yeah, all the pictures I could take. What? 
I really am supposed to take pictures of scratches on the wall. I'm pretty sure that's not meant to Whoops! Like that. I don't know if I've really done that at all the whole time I've ever played this game. <laughs> yeah, I really should just keep the camera out more so it tells me what to take pictures of with that little autofocus thing. I'm too lazy though, I like just trying to figure it out on my own. It's a little bit more fun that way to me. I saw a doorway I should be going to and ooh, don't want to touch that. That's not good. Do you want to take a picture of it though? And my guy told me it's not good, so that means I did a good job. Alright, what was in here? I do not see anything at all. What about those? Like the beat up posters. No, don't need pictures of those. Is that something I could climb up? Probably, but it wouldn't get me anywhere. What does that say? Out of order? Well, how dare they have the elevator out of order? That's worth a picture. Alright. Is there anything else? Aha! Now, if we put the cart in reverse, it should go down there. Or not. Wait, maybe I did that wrong. Maybe it's already lined up and I didn't have to pull the handle? Okay then, the cart does not want to go that way, so I'm going to leave it there. It can light up the room that I'm going to walk into. And explore. Got some more batteries. Six packs of camera batteries. Oh man, I can take so many pictures. I got a button that does not work. I don't think it's working. Cause I don't hear nothing happening. See, what if we follow it? So the button goes whoop to the light. That's all it does. Does it go to anywhere out here? No. So that's probably a fake button. Cause the game seems like it does a pretty good job of having things actually connect up to where they should. And what is this? Oh goodness. And I'm supposed to memorize all of these codes? Alright, done. I memorized them all. Yeah, no, I'm gonna come back to those de depending on which one I figure out I need. Because I don't think I'll actually need all of them. It'll probably be like you need one or two of them. Because the game has done something like that before, if I remember correctly. So here's another door. What do we got in of this one? Got a key. The key does not appear to have a label, though. Just a mysterious key. Don't need a picture of it, though. Game says no. So I'm pick that up and then we got unlock lock and it's for CMS 01 CMS 02 WPD W or ARD and that says central metro station that's probably CMS so I need the code for a door so back to the little cheat sheet too bad you can't just pick it up and carry it with you it's like man that's too heavy I can't carry that so central station doors is 8453. You know what I could do is I could take a picture of it in real life. And then I always have it with me. Don't think it'll be necessary, but I could. So this is 8453. Alright. Pull all the levers. Also, this glass is broken. Is that a hazard? Yes, it is. Oh, gotta reload the uh, batteries first. Five packs of batteries left. Good picture. And uh, we gotta go on foot, since my cart won't go along the right road, or the right track. Nothing there. And the door just shut. That's not good. Let's take a picture. <laughs> Let's just run up and take a picture real quick. Oh. I don't need- There we go, picture enabled. Uh-oh. I think, yep, I just died. Now, is that because I was getting too close for the picture and got crushed? Because I walked too slow? What did I do wrong exactly? Let's see. I'll stay way back in the corner while I still get crushed. Oh, it's, it's probably going to crush me. It's probably going to crush me. Maybe not? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm as good as dead. Oh, it's still falling. Wait, let me take a picture before I die. <laughs> like, that's my last thing. There's going to be a picture of the ceiling crumbling. And this is how YBR died. Although it actually stopped. Oh. All right. Well. Can't go back through there, though. Oh, but this door opened for who knows why. It just decided, you know what? I have threatened your life enough. Here, I'm going to open up now. It's like, thanks. If you were opened up the first time, I wouldn't have died at all. 
A little bit dark, pull up the flashlight. Don't see anything worth taking pictures of here. Ah, yes, a ladder. Better climb it. You know, eventually, we will find our way out of here. I don't know how long it's going to take, or if my guy is going to be dead when it happens, but we will be able to get back to our that work six soon. Batteries. Cool. Don't see uh, anything else up here. Is that walled off door? Yeah! Haha! -ha. See some- Oh wait, was I taking a picture of the walled off door or that? I think I was taking a picture of the fact that the concrete's all torn up right there. I thought it was a door! That was sketchy. It was very sketchy. I thought I was dead. Oh, look, it's like a mine or something up in here. What in the world? Where are we? What does that say? You shall not pass. And there's a uh, dynamite there. Is that what we're taking a picture of? Apparently not. It's funny, like some of these things you would think you should take a picture of, but no, that's okay. You don't need to. Nope, don't want a picture of the cart that's just sitting in the way. I think I'm not gonna be able to fit. Nope. So we can't drive that cart. What we got in here? Collapsed tunnel? That's definitely a picture. All right. And since it's collapsed, nothing else to do there. So dark in here. Like, where in the world am I now? I am completely confused. Oh, look. Another thing to pull. Oh, see, it does move it, though. You can see the tracks are moving. Does that mean we get to drive the train? Oh, I am so ready for this. Oh, the train is broken. I wanted to drive the train. I know, YBR, it's not a train. Seven yeah, but you know what I mean. I mean, multiple carts hooked up together, a.k.a. a train. Was there anything else to take a picture of, really? No, huh? What about this door being closed? Nope, not worth taking a picture. So, I see one more path that I have yet to take. I assume that's the one we're supposed to take. Alright, so now we're in more of a uh, normal looking tunnel. It doesn't look like it was like freshly carved out yesterday out of the dirt. This looks like it's actually safe to be in. Although, ironically, this is the kind of tunnel that collapsed earlier, not the one that looked super unsafe. So, I don't know how safe I should really feel. That door does not work. Ooh, that box I can pick up. And then I could chuck it. Like, what if I put it right here and then the thing closes on it? Oh, it just goes right through it. How lame is that? All right, so I see some boxes over here. Am I supposed to like climb up onto those? Uh, not from that angle, at least. There's nothing up on the boxes. Ah, but there's a ladder over there. See, I probably need two boxes here, so I'll do one. Ah! Two. I think that's too far away, isn't it? Oh, we'll see what happens. Two. Yep, too far away. Two. Now it's probably too close. Back it up, because you got to be able to step on the first box and step on the second. That's the key here. There you go, so that should work. Step up. Step up. Grab the ladder. Perfect. Oh my goodness, look at all these leaks. That's not good. This is terrible. Going crazy with this camera up in here. I think I saw one over there, didn't I? I guess there's not one over there. Alright, so we got one thing we can go ahead and turn. So we'll turn that. Let's us walk through here. We got another one we could turn. Why not turn it? Don't know what it'll do for sure. Got another leak to take a picture of. Am I supposed to take a picture of the blood again? There appears to be more blood. No, nope, blood is okay. Blood is totally fine. Yet another wheel. Did not stop that though. Hmm. Maybe if we hop back to the first one we saw, we could do something with it by turning it back to how it started? Like my best guess here is just to spin things and see what happens, so. Uh, did that do anything? Oh, good. It worked. We can walk through some of it. Okay, how about turn this? What does that do? That one goes live. That one does not. Or that one goes dead, I guess. So we can keep on walking through. 
And now we can actually get to that hand wheel. And I see some batteries, I think. That six packs of camera. It's kind of funny. You find the batteries for the camera right in front of a flashlight. Not what you'd expect. Just nonsense there. Alright, so we turn this wheel. And then I guess we could look at that one that was still active. Like I'm thinking that's where we need to go. It's just a matter of finding the right combination of wheels to get through there. Why is it creak as I walk right here? Like you notice there's a creaking sound. It sounds like somebody else is up in here, like getting up out of a chair. Ooh, batteries. That makes eight packs of flashlight batteries. Let's see if it does it again. Didn't do it that time. I met, I was quiet and everything, but it didn't do it. Oh. Okay, well I did something wrong maybe, unless this will fix it. Oh, it will. I thought I messed up for a second. No, you just gotta keep spinning those wheels. Eventually, you'll get what you want. Hey, what's over there? Is that just a dead end? Do a quick uh, check at that. Ooh, what's in here? Ah, just a vent. Can't even go through it. So I guess we do go the other way. Is that somewhere we were at earlier? Oh, that's probably where I was uh, picking up the boxes from. Okay. Two paths. That one appears to be a dead end. That one probably isn't. And I am crouching as I go through this, even though it looks pretty tall. Can't uncrouch, though. Alright, let's see. Is that fan going to kill me if I try to touch it? No, it's not. Don't need a picture of it because it's actually working. One of the few things that's working properly in this game, right? Right there, we are running. And you know what? I think that's a good place to go ahead and end this video. So, uh, till next time, this is my BR. I'll be finishing up this uh, part of the game soon, hopefully. And no more huge delays like there was between this video and the last one. So until then, I'll see ya.